Tanya Stewart and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for October's Owl Crate. Owl Crate is a, newly, is, um, a bookish subscription box that will send you a newly released book as well as other bookish goodies and I'm excited about this thing because it's called Lost in a Bookstore plus it's really relevant because whenever I go to a bookstore with Kevin he ends up losing me and then he ends up finding me eventually so I thought I the theme really grabbed my interest and I definitely excited to open this box so let's get to the unboxing I also completely forgot that you also will be get this will be getting two books instead of one for this box so here's the spoiler card and I really love it and of course I'm not gonna be looking at this until it's necessary and the first thing that I see in here is socks and these are really cute and they're by um, out of print and it's exclusively for um, Alcrete it's an Alcrete exclusive and they, these are really cute socks I'm gonna be opening them out last so I could get a closer look yeah they're just socks that are um, opened books and these are really cute and I think on the side it says nerd on it yeah it says nerd on the side which these are really cute and I can't wait to wear them and the next thing in here I see is looks like tea yeah it's tea from the cover here and it's mocha uh, jacko mint truffles actually smells really good and I definitely would like to try it and also there's a coupon code for the company which is by I'll check this spoiler card here yeah and it's from the tea spot which is really funny and I really like the theme or um, the packaging because these are really cute plus on the other side has a stack of books and and the ingredients are um, it's black tea peppermint chocolate flavoring and again from that it's I know it's sealed but it does smell really good and I I'm not much of a tea person but I do want to try tea and I definitely would love to try these and the next thing in here is another Alex Alex exclusive it looks like it's a tea strainer yeah it's a tea strainer which is really cute and it has a shape like a heart which is really nice and and of course it gives you instructions on how to use it which is really nice and of course that's why there's tea to go with it and I think it's a good idea especially when people don't use tea bags they would use these kind of things which is really cool and the next thing in here is um, this pin that goes along with the spoiler card as you can see here it matches and again I love these pins because I think it's really unique from Owl Crate plus it looks like a girl enjoying a book the next thing in here is an art print oh it's a Harry Potter art print oh my gosh this is so cute and it's a mirror of Erisette with he Hedwig and a stack of books oh my gosh this this is really cute I want to know who make this because I never gotten I love Harry Potter so who made this? This is by Michelle um, Gray and oh my gosh I love this print so much I definitely would love to frame this and put this in my apartment at school because I love Harry Potter so much. Next thing in here is this bag. Oh this is really cute. I'm not I'm not sure what kind of bag this is but it's really cute and it's Alcree exclusive and it says Books are a u um, uniquely pourable of magic, and I think that's by um, Stephen King. It looks really cute and pretty, and let me see. And it's by um, Bookworm Boutique, and I actually follow them on Instagram, which is really funny. And yeah, and this is really cute, and it's what item is this? Is uh, oh, it's a Oh, it's a purse. Okay, that explains it. It's really cute. Plus, I'm not sure if I would use this as an actual purse, but it's still really cute. One of the books that um, from Elgrade is Pride from um, 
AB Zopoid, and of course this is a, an exclusive cover, and and the original font is blue, while this one is pink, which I think is really relatable because it's a retelling of Prime Prejudice, which I really like. Sorry about the noise. And of course, it go and you get a letter from the author, and there's a and you get a bookmark, which is really cool. And and you and it says you run this block, this hood, my heart, and it's one of the quotes from the book, which I'm really excited about because that's one of my anticipated releases for the fall. And like I said, it's a retelling of Pride and Precious. Oh, I, I really like the end paper, which is really nice. And and of course you get signed copy of that. So yeah, and I can't wait to read this. It's really short. It might take it might take me a um it would so it might be a, a really quick read for me. And the second book in I'll create is um, The Shadow of Fox by Julie Kagawa. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. I don't know what's a about, but I only know it's, um, it's about, um, it's by the same author as, on um, the Talent series, which I never read, so, and this is also a Al Craig exclusive cover, oh, both of them goes with, um, a bookmark that goes with a book, which is really cool, and this bookmark says, absolute power can corrupt even the purest of hearts, which I also really like. Which is really nice, and of course you get a letter from the authoress. Well, and you get sent that both of them are signs, which is really cool. And so underneath the jacket is playing Ridge, which is fine. And yeah, I don't know what's about. Um, let me see what Alcrate says about this one. At the end of the millennium. Whoever holds the agent's scrolls with will be granted one wish from the great Kami Dragon. Oh, this is the one that is um, based on a Japanese folklore, which is really cool. And I do watch a lot of anime, so I love learning about Japanese culture. And this is a really cool cover, and it's really shiny, which is I really like. So I, I like... I got spoiled in on Instagram, but I completely forgot about this book, but I found out about these two. I knew this one's going to be Pride, but the other one I d wasn't sure about, but I'm really happy to receive these from Owlcrate. And of course, they come with a newsletter, and let me see. Yep, I was right about Pride. There, the the original cover has the baby blue f font, and then you get crossword puzzles and stuff, and you get recommendations for um, if you like the book. Okay, so the Owl Crate um, has bright red in the background, while um, the original cover has the dark red background. So it's it's still really cool. So yeah, and it of course it gives you recommendations and then they give you prompts for Instagram and it tells you the next theme which is really cool and and that's why I really like about Owl Crates so and they're really unique and I'm content I love this box so much that I would love to continue with them so that's all for my Owl Crate on Boxing. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below some of your favorite items from this box. I don't know what's my favorite item. I'm guessing the um, Harry Potter prints because I love Harry Potter and I definitely want to put this in the frame because I love Harry Potter so much. And and if you don't want to miss any of my, um, if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook on our last rear and I have Twitter and Instagram on last rear 19. I also have Goodreads, which I'll link down below. If you don't want to miss any of my new videos, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!